The Philadelphia Eagles hit the road for their first division game off to Dallas to take on the Cowboys on Monday night football. The Cowboys in better shape now that their kicker straightened some things out. For the win, Zerline's kick. Is it long enough? It is into the net for the victory. Greg DeLeg bounced back from his week one woes, sealing the win for the Cowboys, a win set up by the late game heroics of Dak Prescott. He didn't put up the gaudy numbers we've been seeing from him recently, but he came through when it mattered, adding another late game winning drive to his resume. Second down, pass, caught between two defenders, it's Cooper. Dallas didn't throw the ball quite as much, which meant fewer yards to go around for their receivers. Still, C.D. Lamb finished his week two with a nice stat line. Play action, deep ball, it's there. C.D. Lamb on the sideline steps out. You can look at Philly's pass defense two ways. Yeah, they let Jimmy Garoppolo go 22 of 30, put up a rating over 100, didn't pick him off. Garoppolo has a man on the perimeter. That's a touchdown. Or you can look at them as a defense that held Jimmy G to less than 200 yards passing, holding him to a meager 6.3 yards per attempt. Blitz coming from Philadelphia. Garoppolo throws and it's incomplete. Dangerous pass. They also held the 49ers rush attack to just 3.1 yards per carry. For a second straight carry, it's Javon Hargrave for a loss. And that's relevant because the Cowboys threw less last week and ran more, though they didn't order a full plate of Zeke while doing it. They went with a half order of Elliott, who put up over 70 yards and a score. Zeke, you give him that much space, he's going to finish off every one of these. And then went with a half plate of Tony Pollard, who went for over 100 yards while punching one in. It's Pollard, and he's across. The game could hinge on who totes the rock better, as the run game is at the center of the Eagles offense, and they too sport a combo meal of sorts. Miles Sanders taking care of the traditional runs. How do you deal with this right here? That is like Steve. It's too easy. And of course, Jalen Hurts providing the sort of surprise gift that comes along in a happy meal. Hurts has a lot of green grass, and he's going to pick up that first down. Dallas, of course, did not handle ground games well all last year, and the box score says they allowed five a pop to the Chargers. But 20 of the 95 yards they allowed came on one run, so there is still some progress hidden in there. This is a great job flying in by Hooker. And their pass defense comes in with some confidence. They held Justin Herbert to a rating under. 90, picking him off twice. Intercepted! That's his fifth pick in his first 14 career games. Even their pass rush got in on the action. They got two sacks, and the Eagles will have to keep tabs on Micah Parsons, too, as he was all over Herbert all game long. Wow. He's back at the 26. They're calling him down at the 25 a sack. When Hertz was throwing, he got taken down three times. As that pocket just constricts, and there's nowhere for the escape. And overall had a rough day with his arm, a rating of just 80 and only 190 yards, and 91 of them came on this one pass play. I mean, you couldn't run down there and put it in Watkins' hands any better than that. He has shown a desire to heave it long quite a bit. He just has to connect more if he's going to keep that up. Watch him here as he's going to launch. Pressure right there, gets hit, throws it up there. And I'm telling you what, Smith almost came down with it. This could be a real butte, Clark. NFC East, early season Ws that mean a whole lot later, especially in this division. Let's see who you got. Scores and analysis in the comments section. We roll out with 10 on the screen for you.